Today I want to try HDS1MK2. Okay, I think Hornet should improve their plugins names. Although it looks quite interesting and so let's see if it's any good. This plugin is made for guitars and so it's natural for me to give it a try because I mainly produce EDM. So what's the point for someone who usually don't work with guitars to try a plugin like that? And that's what I'm gonna show you today, along the plugin of course. Before starting, let me remember to check the description, cause there are many ways to support the channel even without spending any cent. And this is very important for a small channel like mine. But now let me show you a few examples on how you can use this plugin differently from how it's supposed to be used. The first example is on vocal. Instead Instead of using an EQ to make it brighter and maybe even a compressor to help the voice to be heard clearly, a very small amount of parallel saturation can do the job. Like dancing in the falling rain, I felt alive but in a better way. I close my eyes and in your name I pray That I will never see the same again Now I heard your voice, I heard you in my pain That day you... So just a very small percentage of distortion can give you an interesting sound and believe me, this is way better in the mix. If you think it's weird to use it on a voice and so that's the reason I stayed conservative a very cool way to use this plugin on voice is as creative effect. Just let me show you. This was just an example, so you can create a static effect or even to automate something to give a more interesting feeling. EDM also means synth. We don't usually use guitars and when we do, they are pretty clean, but we use a lot of synths. And so sound design is very important and you can create and shape sounds in multiple ways, from the synth itself to other effects. And now I want to show you a plug with a very low reverb that it's barely a without HDS this plugin. Or we can leave the synth as it is and send the reverb to another track. Then use this effect only on the reverb. This time I also want to shape the tone all the way down to make it more interesting. To me it sounds way more full and emotional too. So fuck you guitarists. We can use this one too. There is another thing I want to mention that usually is lacking on the most plugins. The internal gain staging. With a level knob we can fit more or less distortion without changing the output level. And this is very clever. So we can just search for the sound we like without the need to care about gain staging. And that's the good workflow we deserve for. As always, if you like the plugin, try it before. Cause what may work for me may does not work for you or the opposite. If you enjoyed this video, give the like, subscribe and enable notifications too. If you have other interesting ideas to shape sounds, just write them in the comments. See you in the next one. Ciao.